Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here, and welcome back to the Black Ops Three Mod Tools tutorial series. So then, in this video, I'm going to be basically putting a script into the map, which is going to rotate our models. Um, I believe this also works with um, script and brush models as well. But for this video, I'm going to be basically making some models of fans rotate. So what you need to do first of all is find this uh, script. It's going to be in a link in the description. Just download this. Um, it's just, it's just that and all this is this okay nothing too complicated it's something actually made a while back and i've just sort of modified it to make it a little bit cleaner so minimize that moment so what we need to do is once you downloaded that go over to your black ops 3 root directory go over to your user maps your map name in this case i'm going to be using test day go to scripts zm and the map name dot gsc okay so open up that Let's actually combine these into the same tab. There we go. So what we need to do first of all now is actually put the script into the scripts and then we can put the model into Radiant. So what we need to do first of all, using the actual script that you just downloaded, is you see this first two lines. We sort of copy and paste the very first two lines. Nothing more. Go over to our map file, go down to where you see ZM user map main. Directly underneath here, I'm just going to add some lines and paste that into there so you can see we have a rotating entities comment with the actual thread for it itself. Next, what we need to do is, of course, grab the actual function. So it's going to be basically everything else. So from here all the way down, we'll grab that. I'm going to paste it in at the very, very bottom of here, like such. Okay. So directly after your, um, well, basically after the very last function. So next what we need to do is of course actually add stuff into Radiant to make it rotate. So to do this what I've done is I've put a bit of sort of a bit of a description up here. Um, all you really need is a rotate end part um, in the target name. Everything else is basically it's, it's either completely optional or if you don't have it it will default to something else. Okay so what we need to do is of course open up Radiant. So the first thing it says is we need to use a script model or script brush model. I'm going to be using a script model for this because I'm using fans. So I'm going to open up the map in Radiant. I'm going to go over to my models which is over here. I'm just going to grab some fan blades okay. Simple as that. Drag that into the map. I'm going to place it about I'll place a bit lower about there there we go and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go up to my entity info i'm going to remap the class we will type in script and you'll see we now have script model so let's remap it to be a script model now now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take a note of these axes here okay so um the first one which we need to do is of course actually add the kbb to make it recognized as you know a spinning object so I'll go over to my script you can see so we get the model and then give it a kp of target name rotate end so i'm going to sort of copy rotate end make my life easy just copy it and over here we got target name so we'll paste it in there so rotate underscore ent rotate end so that's fine so that's now going to be recognized as a rotent as a rotating entity that's what we need to do is actually define some kvps so if i look at the script you can see we have a script note with it so this is basically where it's going to be rotated to so the actual axis now okay so the axis being whether we want the y z or the x or x y z you would normally say um it's basically which axis we're going to be rotating on so if we wanted it to rotate around then we'd be selecting the z axis um, now because we want the actual model itself to be obviously not flat I want it to be upright but I want it to be rotating on this axis now something that might catch a few people out here if you rotate it like this so uh, rotate it on X it'll be so if I rotate it like that a lot of the time you might think I now want this to rotate on the Z axis because you know I want it to rotate around this point okay so through the center it's not actually going to rotate on the z-axis so it's actually still going to be on the y-axis the only reason why it's changed is because we've rotated the model itself so if i wanted it to as i said be upright but by you know rotating as you'd expect it to rotate it's actually going to be on the y-axis so you're going by the axis which the model has not been rotated before okay so as soon as you put it into the map it's the, it's the axis which is shown here okay so what so i'm going to take note it's the y-axis We'll rotate it to how I want it to be, but it's still going to be the y-axis. Okay, it's still this direction, which was the y-axis. Hope that makes sense. If you do get it wrong, 
just change it up and, and you know until it works so there's only three possibilities you can have either x y or z in here so i'm going to do script note weather and as i said mine is going to be y okay so if i, if I just as you see i've got y there yeah so script note with a Y, okay, so it's going to be rotating on the Y axis. Um, with this script, uh, what I've done is um, you can give it either an X, Y, or Z, as I've mentioned. If you don't give it anything, then it's going to default to X, okay? So if you don't define anything, it won't break, it'll just rotate on the X axis itself. So the next one is going to be the script transition time. Okay, now this is basically how long it takes to... Um, rotate once okay so obviously if you want a really fast rotation you want the number to be much lower you want it to be much slower make the number higher okay so this is basically the speed of it so i'm going to give it a 0 0.5 now 0 0.5 is actually default so if you don't if you don't define this um it will actually put 0 0.5 in um, by default but I'm, I'm going to put 0 0.5 in anyway okay so there's that the next kvp is going to be script string so is this basically is the power required yes or no okay if you do want the power to be required for it to start spinning just simply put power in there um, if you don't then just leave it completely blank what i'm going to do is i'm going to do script string i'm actually going to define this though but i'm going to make a copy of it as well so i'm going to put that in there and then just put power like such and now what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to copy and paste this though like such and i'm also going to delete power okay so we have a power version and a non-power version here okay so when we go into game i can flip the electric switch and you know it will then make the other one start spinning as well i'm actually going to alter this speed as well so i'm going to put a one in there so we can have a different speed so it shows you know it does spin differently the next one is actually what I'm going to leave blank personally because I don't want it to play a sound. But if you do put a script sound in, um, it has got to be a looping sound, okay? And obviously, 3D would make you know it would make more sense. But it has got to be a looping sound, okay? Um, any other sound will not work. So set up, a, set up a sound. I do actually have a video previously. It was actually the one just before this. Well, actually, two videos just before this. Um, so the one before this and the one before that. Um, actually went over sounds okay in quite a bit of detail so you might want to go back to look at them um, if you want to have any knowledge on sounds if you don't have it already okay so if you look at them that'll be showing you that um i've just realized the version you'll have on the script of what of this line i've left that in by accident i'll take that out though for the actual download um the tutorial still is exactly the same though i just it's for debugging that um so put in a script sound if you wish to this is of course is the name of the sound you'll put in the uh, so we'll just copy it I click on there i'll put that in and this now will be the name of the sound okay and um, i don't want any sound though to be playing i want it just to rotate um typically you know you might have let's say the, let's say the sound of a fan rotating you'd put in there um so it sounds you know like it would do um, that's the purpose of that to make it a bit more sort of you know immersive so there we go all the kvps so we got our on the y-axis and it's gonna take one second to rotate once this one is going to do the wax test again, but this time it's going to wait for power to be enabled. And once power is enabled, it will then rotate once every half a second. So it'll be double the speed of this one. So that's all that's needed there, guys. What we're going to now need to do is, of course, go over to our launcher, go and do a full compile because we've just put something into the map. And we've also done a script change. So I'll compile everything. And I'll see you guys over at Black Ops 3, where we'll show this actually working. Um, so I'll see you guys over at Black Ops 3. Okay, there you go. so over at uh, Black Ops 3, and you can see we have one model rotating, the other one not doing, um, exactly as we'd expect. So if I just go, on, go over there towards power, you see the other one now starts to rotate as well, but I doubled the speed because it's, you know, it's that one was 0 0.5, that one was 1. So this one's rotating once every single second, this one's rotating once every half a second, so double the speed. Um, easy as that, guys, really. Um, of course, I add, you know, these where you want them. Um, of course you don't have to use the fan model you can use whatever you want and um, the only line of code that i actually removed on the on, on you know on that tutorial um part before this um when you actually download it it won't have it in um it was purely just it counts how many of these are um are spinning and sort of puts them on your screen it was just when i was testing it but i forgot to take it out so um try to ignore that a little bit uh but yeah that's, that's how it's been that has been how to uh, make models rotate 
and you know you can kind of use this for whatever you want you know ceiling fans with you know a bit of sound involved would work quite nicely um however you guys want to set it up there it is so if you have any questions or of course you know you find anything wrong with the script please let me know in the comment section below um, and you know i'll update things answer any questions and such but other than that thanks for watching this and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye for now